Hello everyone, and now I personally love Fallout 3. It was not only the game that introduced me to RPGs and Fallout in general, but it was the game that introduced me to Bethesda, who are one of my favorite developers ever. However, just because I love Fallout 3, that does not mean that I don't have my issues with it, and today I want to give my 5 nitpicks that I have with the game. Now, I want to make it clear that these are just nitpicks I have. I still love this game and I always will. I'm starting this list off strong with the beginning of Fallout 3 being set in Vault, Vault 101. Now, I do not hate this beginning like many people. I think it is actually, I think it does actually really work narratively. It is nice seeing how peaceful and how closed off the vault is compared to the open world and openness of the Capital Wasteland. And I like the entire process when you actually escape the vault and when you step outside for the first time. However, I do not like it, what I do not like about this is just how boring the entire beginning of the game is. When like when you are a kid at your birthday party and then going to take the goat, it's just it's very boring. It's really boring. What what I like about when you escape is that it's honestly the first thing that happens in the vault. That is fun. It is the first thing that happens in Vault 101 that is actually really fun. And that's a shame because I do think this is a great opening for Fallout 3. I do think this is a great beginning of Fallout 3. And sadly, I do not think... I, I do think people's complaints about it made Fallout 4's beginning feel as rushed as it did. Because Fallout 4 was rushing you to enjoy the game faster than Fallout 3 did. Which, frankly, I, I don't mind... Fallout 3 had a way better opening, had a way better beginning, it just was very boring. Now, a big part of Fallout 3 is the karma system, and while I do like it, I also really don't like it. And I'm happy Bethesda got rid of it in future Fallout games. The karma system is designed to tell you whether or not you did a good deed or evil deed, very much like the honor system in Red Dead Redemption. However, unlike that system that works, the karma the Karma system doesn't. It doesn't work at all. Probably the biggest example for me is the ending to the Pit DLC, which says that siding with Asher is the evil ending. Normally, I think this would make sense, since Asher is the leader of the slavers, they, like, the slavers, and they have been abusing the workers. However, 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 for me, it's kind of more once you actually see Asher's side. Like, you, you find out that the cure that you've been hearing about that would help the slaves is actually a baby. And the reason that it's taken forever to get a cure is because Asher and his people don't want to hurt that baby. However, the game says that it's good to kidnap the child and give her to the slaves who will cause a lot of harm to her just so they can get a cure faster. Also, this child is now an orphan because you killed her parents. And I'm sorry, that, that does not seem like a good ending to me. It doesn't. In my opinion, the pit is very, is very much like a shades of gray. It's not black and white. And I, I don't like that it says that one ending is good and the other is bad. New Vegas did better with the reputation system, but even that is not perfect. And I'm happy that Bethesda in general just got rid of all this in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Alright, now... This will always be something that I dislike in video games, and that is items having durability. I know it's realistic that the more you use something, the more it will break. But for me, it's just annoying having to, having to keep up with items in this game. It's as much of a challenge as trying to survive and have enough ammo and health items. I do not like having to repair my weapons or armor, because when all my weapons are broken, it's just annoying having to either find that item and repair it, or go back to Megaton and so more can repair it. I, I just don't like items having their ability. I prefer the way Skyrim and Fallout 4 did it. And now, I know this is just a problem I have, but I do not like that this game stops letting you level up after level 20 in the base game, and 30 with all the DLCs. In my opinion, New Vegas did this right, with the highest level you can become being level 50, which I have never gotten to, no matter how long and how much I've played Fallout New Vegas. I don't know, I, I don't know, I just don't like having the level lock, 
being so low compared to later Fallout games, which it, it is very high. You can, like, become level 60 in, like, Fall, Fallout 4, you, well, as far as I know, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, you can go all the way up to level 100. And that's what, I, I like that. I like, just, like, there's no being how much, there's not a lock for how much you can level up. And I don't like that in Fallout 3. It's so low that you can, that you reach level 20 and you cannot level up anymore. I don't like it. Now, I love Fallout 3 so much. But my biggest nitpick that I have with this game is the shooting. I'm a huge fan of FPS games. It's actually my favorite genre of video games. But the shooting in this game is not good. It feels very clunky and it does feel weird throughout the entire game. And the fact that you have to deal with this throughout the entire game is a shame. Because it's not, it's not bad, but it's also not good, especially compared to other games. And like, I, I guess it makes sense narratively, because not only is this game not, this Fallout 3 is not an FPS game, it's an RPG. But also your character lived in the vault all their life, and their only knowledge of firearms is their BB gun. So it makes sense. However, it's still cl clunky. I don't like it, and I'm happy Bethesda fixed this with Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Now again, I love Fallout 3 so much, and I will always love Fallout 3. I'm currently working on a video defending Fallout 3 because of the fact that I have started seeing more and more hate for this game. And like, I've started seeing more and more hate for Fallout 3. And these are just small issues that I have with the game. I still love it, and I always will love Fallout 3.